praise the Lord, prophet of God. Amen. Praise the Lord, Pastor Faustin. This is what the Lord says. Uh, the Lord spoke with me this past night. And in that conversation, the Lord spoke to me about that distress that is coming to Kenya. A very, very big distress that's coming to Kenya. And I see the, deploy, the deployment of uh, uh, security personnel officers. Some of them have red hats, the red beret, and others have the the the, uh, the helmet covered with the military gloves. You see the deployment taking place. There is a tremendous distress, a humongous distress that's coming to Kenya. And we know it too well that this is coming within the backdrop of the big love the Lord has exuded over this nation, even in what we witnessed at Kakamega when the Lord made the most historic visitation since the creation of the earth. The most historic visitation took place in this land at Kakamega more, more than uh, slightly more than a week ago. And so the Lord is still asking this country to repent and turn away from sin. And the church, the church is at the very core, it's at the very core of that repentance need. The Lord is asking the church and the entire nation to repent and observe a national repentance. Know whether this element is related to the current skirmishes that are taking place in uh, Delta, or is a totally new escalation or new phenomenon. But anyhow, the Lord is using this to also affirm to the nation that He loves so much Kenya and all the nations there. That these are the signs that the Messiah talked about in Matthew chapter 24. The King, the Lord, the Lord of all lords, and the King of all kings. When he said that this distress would consume wars in various places, famines, earthquakes, nations rising against nations, again, I see a major deployment of two units. One unit is with red array, and another unit is with another the, the, the helmet, but the, the, the helmet is covered with uh, clo with military clothes, military uh, tandaroo or something like that. So the Lord God Almighty has spoken with this nation and is asking for repentance that the nations may prepare for the coming of the Messiah. This becomes a message to all nations across the earth that the Messiah is coming. I know the Messiah is coming for a glorious church, a holy church, so we need each one of us to be holding his spiritual spade, the spiritual sururu, the spiritual spade, so we can prepare the way in our hearts, the way for the coming of the Messiah. That when the Messiah comes, he may find a way, a smooth way, a prepared way, and they get to pass through our hearts also when he comes for the church. Has the, the mouth of the Lord spoken? Has the Lord spoken with this nation? Shalom.